let's talk about using a track as a hotline switch. So what I'm doing is I'm switching a load, 120 volt load, uh, AC, and I'm going to switch it with a with a triac. Now what I want to do is I want to switch it at zero crossing. When the sine wave uh, gets to zero volts, I want to turn it on then. Right now I'm using a relay, and the relay is just random. It can turn on uh, at any point along the sine wave. For the 120 volts, it could turn on at, say, 170 volts, which could cause some uh, inrush current in my project, which which I don't want to use. So I'm going to use this, uh, turn it on at zero crossing. To do that, I'm using this opto isolator here. Here it is here. It's just a uh, six-pin uh, dip zero crossing opto isolator. It's got a triac driver output on it. It's all set for this. I think it's about uh, 50 cents for one of these. Uh, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it on with uh, 5 volts uh, DC. And here's a circuit down here. And uh, I'm, we're going to try to drive this driver. Now in the, in the spec sheet, it actually has this, this circuit here. And uh, I'm using 5 volts input. Now this resistor here, to, to calculate this, this one here, you take the, uh, the supply voltage and you divide it by the, uh, or you subtract the forward voltage drop of the LED. Now this one happens to be uh, uh, 1.3 volts at 15 milliamps. You have to look in a spec sheet. Some of these are only good for say uh, 10 milliamps or so. This one's 15 milliamps. So I'm taking my 5 volts minus my 1.3 volts and dividing by 15 milliamps and I get uh, uh, 246 ohms here. Now I've got a 280 ohm resistor. I put that in there and uh, I'm putting about uh, 13 milliamps through here and that's working just fine. Now the triac over here, I picked uh, this triac here and it happens to be good for uh, 40 amps. Uh, now in the spec sheet it tells you the, uh, it gives you these values here, the 180 ohms here and the 1k here. This number circuit, it's optional. I, in fact I didn't use that one. This, now what I did is I, you can buy a um, solid state relay and it's probably the best thing to do but the project I'm working on it has uh, octo based relays in there and I didn't want to change the uh, the relays out take everything apart so I built one into an octo based relay and here it is here so what I did in the relay, I don't know if you can see in there but I uh, I took the coil out and I mounted the uh, get it up a little closer and I mounted the uh, triac in there and on the other side I've got the uh, 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 the opto isolator in there okay and it's all inside the package there so I can just plug this relay into the existing relay slot and uh, and it should work so I've got it set up here on the bench I've got a um, uh, isolated power supply here actually and uh, I'm only running it at about uh, 50 volts or so because I'm on the test bench here. I've got 5 volts coming in and and that turns on the I can crank up the voltage a little bit and that turns on the uh, on the, the load here. So that's going to work just fine and uh, it just turns on at zero crossing so I'm going to be able to plug this into my project and have a zero crossing uh, relay. So that, that's all there is to it. In the uh, spec sheet for these uh, opto isolators, uh, you'll see the circuit in there. And uh, now this happens to be good for 40 amps. These octo base packages are only good for uh, 10 amps. So I can't go above 10. I'm fusing it for 8 amps. And my load's about a 6 amp load. So, um, you know. It should work fine. Now I, I bolted the uh, uh, triac onto the metal bracket that the uh, coil was mounted to, so a little bit of a heat sink there. But since this is good for 40 amps and I'm only going to use about six, it, it should work just fine. So that's it, and it works with uh, five volts. So that's it. Thank you.